it's um well it's hydrangea of course in English and that's uh, ajisai in Japanese and when the ajisai flower that means it's rainy season and indeed it is it's gray a little humid and the Japan Meteorological Agency officially announced the start of rainy season uh, a couple of days ago and right on cue it uh, it rained hello welcome to the allotment i haven't been here for two weeks i was away last week doing a trail run We just came up a very steep hill <laughs> and it looks like there have been developments. Things have grown out of control. This is uh, coriander which is now out of control. This is uh, the misena. This is also coriander which is just crazy. Poor tomatoes, I didn't tie them up. I will do that today. But uh, there are beans. And there are uh, oversized uh, peas. Potatoes. The potatoes look like they are turning and I may even, I think I'll have a test dig today. That one, you are coming with me. Three potatoes. Not bad. Well, a bit small, but it is a little bit early. And you, you can see how the skin is not. I wonder if this is something in the soil. It's like kind of scabby. The skin is a little bit kind of scabby here. I mean, it will brush off or scrape off. But um, yeah, might go nice with a bit of mint, don't you think? New potatoes, a little bit of mint on the top. Do you think we should cut one more? No, let's do the one. Let's. Um, do the potatoes, John, on the balcony. Right, it's time for the overwintering potato reveal. Here we go. The potatoes are in here. Oh. It's gonna be a bit. Oh! That's the uh, original. Rotting, you know, rubble. Oh, okay, here's some. Oh, yeah, yeah, not bad. What else we got? Oh, some more. I'm going to drop him in this bucket of water. One, two. And that, these are like all nice and smooth, not like the ones in the allotment. So we got in here. Feel. Oh, there's that one. Oops. Right. That's what we got. That's not bad. That was from th three plants, I think. Not bad. Uh, these uh, little packages came in the post the other day from China. And on the packet it says, 
plastic granules. They're not really plastic granules. These are seeds. These are um, bamboo seeds. I was reading a story uh, recently in Japan that some species of bamboo have been spotted flowering. And some of these species of bamboo only flower once every 50 to 80 years. And one particular species, the mandake, madake, madake bamboo, uh, only flowers once every 120 years. And once it flowers, it dies. And then a new plants grow. I guess it's to keep the, you know, the, the um, species fresh. But then it, it made me think, you know, so uh, maybe I could... Uh, Maybe I could grow bamboo. And so I had a look on uh, Amazon and uh, I found two different types of bamboo. This type and this type. And now it doesn't say on it which, which type they are and I can't even remember. Perhaps if I check my order uh, I might be able to remember. But um, yeah, it's not plastic granules as it says here. But they're, they're very similar and I mean who knows what they've sent me. They've sent me a lot. Uh, I know that it's quite difficult to get them to germinate, so I'm going to try a few different methods. I'll try uh, maybe in um, like the kind of uh, tissue paper, kitchen paper, in a bag, and maybe I'll put some in a pot. I'll put some... So I'll try different things. I've had a little look on YouTube. But this is what they look like. This is what bamboo seeds look like. You're supposed to maybe soak them and things, so I'm going to have a try of these. Everybody, you know, hates rainy season because it's wet and it's humid and it's, you know, well, nearly everyone hates it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love it. You do, don't you, Sammy? Oh, yeah, I love a bit of rainy season. It's all wet and moist. So what are you doing there, Sammy? Oh, I'm eating your vegetables. Are you? Oh, yes. What are you going to do about it, mate? Hey, what are you going to do about it? Well, Sammy, I brought some salt. Uh, oh, no. Not the salt. Not the salt. No, no, no. Here's the kale, which on first inspection looked great. But on closer inspection, does not look so great. Can you see these holes? That is not part of the kale design. Ah, can you see that? That is also not part of the kale design. Oops, did I squash you, caterpillar? <laughs> Thank you very much, John. That's much appreciated. Kale, you're very welcome. Are there any more? Yes, John, there's lots. Oh, what's that there? Oh, nice shot, John. Excellent. 
Oh, this is, I can see this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. Can you say any more, John? If you can, would you please dispose of the little bastards? Yep, Kyle, I am searching. Hang on. I'm being eaten alive here by these bastards. There you go, that one's squashed. Is there a more humane way of doing this, John? Uh, I don't think so, Kyle. Excellent. Is there a more cruel way of doing it? Oh, yeah, I should think so. I could kind of... Uh... Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know what I could do to make it even worse. Well, if you think of something, John, will you please try it? Because these little buggers are just eating me alive. These are... Uh, oh! Whoa! Hey, the mummy. Bit tiny, so we'll leave them. But, oh, actually, not too bad. I don't usually grow edamame, but... Uh, a little shisa... Oh dear. How are you doing, Rhubarb? I'm not doing very well, actually, John. No, you can't use that voice. How are you doing, Rhubarb? I'm not doing very well, actually, John. Um, all these other plants are rather beastly to me. What do you mean, Rhubarb? Well, you know, they're all bigger. And that, that kale says nasty things about me. Kale, is that true? I never said a word. I just said it was a weedy, pathetic little English vegetable. There you go. He called me a vegetable. I'm not a vegetable. I'm a fruit. You're a bloody vegetable. I've never seen a fruit like you, Will. I'm not a fruit. Well, actually, Rhubarb, um, you know, you were classified as a fruit uh, in the United States. Oh, but that doesn't count, does it, John? That's only the United States. No, you can't say that. Oh. Carrots. I don't grow carrots. I should. I th actually, I think I did once. It was a miserable failure. You know, I've said this before, but people are so efficient with their use of space, and uh, that is now my goal. Like, I think planting things in rows is, uh, is perhaps uh, limiting me. Like, I think th things should be in rows, but coming back to my neighbor's um, uh, plot, not many rows. I mean, there's, she's got like patches, this potato patch, but look, look at this. This is perfect. This is, ex this is what I'm talking about. Bit of shiso, a lettuce, some other greens, a bean going up one pole. Just shove it in where you can. Look at yours, John. It's just a huge open prairie. I think it's time to go. Right, that's it. I have picked some beans, dug up my first potatoes of the season, did a bit of weeding, put in a few little seedlings from the balcony, uh, squashed a few caterpillars, dug up the flowering mizena and coriander and I'll <sighs> what I was going to say I'll let it dry in the sun but as I said this is rainy season so there is no sun until the middle of July that's usually what happens and this is the really big daikon that must weigh a couple of kilos wow these are monsters but for now, that's it. I am now going to pack up. I'm going home for a cup of coffee and a chocolate biscuit. I don't know what you're going to do. So from the allotment, which is looking incredibly green. I think we're almost reaching the peak of greenness here on the allotment. Um, this is John saying thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm going to turn the camera around now.